All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna be in the 100 and 35 and 68 pound division where Gervonta Davis is checking Canelo Alvarez and Canelo Alvarez's fans with a whole bunch of reality. And of course, we know a lot of people aren't gonna accept it, but as of this moment, it is what it is. Let's talk about what Gervonta Davis had to say about Canelo Alvarez and everybody else in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna be in the 135 pound division. Actually, we're in the face of boxing uh, 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 division. And one of my more favorite conversations to have, to put to do videos about, uh, and it is the ongoing discussion about who really is the man at boxing. And I'm telling you right now that we've got some double standards going on around here as to who the face of boxing is. Uh, and you better believe that it that that double standard is working against Gervonta, uh, Gervonta Davis. Now, Gervonta Davis, for his part, jump comes out and says and in his eyes proves it by talking about exactly what he's accomplished and how he accomplished significantly more than Canelo Alvarez has as of recent. Now, before I get into the details, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, hey, hit the subscribe button. Come on now and support the channel. That way, hit the like button, something if you're watching the video. We're gonna have good arguments and good conversations on this channel. We have a lot of arguments and you guys can say that you don't like it, some of y'all. But you do, because you always come back and you always want to argue with me. So let's enjoy this good argument. And if you are a longtime subs subscriber and supporter, man, thank you, David Williams. Thank you, Coach Ari. Thank you, um, Matty Yo, uh, Yo, King of the Super Thanks. And everybody else that supports and super thanks, the super thanks of videos like this, because this is how we're able to continue to do the work we do over here on this boxing forum where boxing fans can come and say what you want to say, man. And we can have a good conversation about it as long as you're not too disrespectful and get take things a little too personally. And I guarantee you there's going to be some Canelo fans out here by take this personally. <laughs> and that is, look, man, Canelo's not the face of boxing anymore. Is not the face of boxing anymore. You can argue whether or not Jermonte Davis is the face of boxing or not, but the biggest money man, the up and coming money man, the biggest draw in boxing right now is apparently Jermonte Davis. And Jermonte Davis came out and waved, which you would have never thought somebody would do. Jermonte Davis is actually waving his wallet in the face of Canelo Alvarez and saying, look, man, I made, I think he said somewhere near a hundred million dollars. <laughs> I don't see how you could have made a hundred million dollars in a hundred million dollar fight. However, he, uh, who am I to know how they, uh, all of the different, um, all of the different avenues that you can make, but this is right out on, uh, right on the, uh, end of fans of Canelo and and YouTube outlets that are seriously trying to frame narrative. That's the only way that I can. I'm sorry. I don't want to. I don't like to usually say that, but it sounds to me like you're framing narratives <laughs> when you are uh, when all of the sudden uh, Canelo Alvarez making 50 million dollars and and Jermel Charlo got 40 percent of the 50 million, uh, uh, 50, 40, 60, 40 or something of that of the pay-per-view. And Canelo Alvarez was paid 50 million dollars for the Jermel Charlo fight. Right. Clearly saying that even though Gervonta Davis literally sold twice as many tickets and had a big twice as many pay-per-views at the same price. And had uh, a, a significantly larger gate than Canelo Alvarez did. Somehow, Canelo Alvarez is the one still getting making all, still making all the money. Uh, probably not. Uh, and so when I say who is the face of boxing, and now see, this is what Gervonta Davis said about how much money he made. Now, to uh, to Gervonta Davis's. Um, 
credit, he's very consistent with this. He had come out before when people were saying, oh, you've never had Shakur Stevenson's make, uh, not Shakur, Devin Haney's making as much money as he is and how these other people are making as much money as Javante, even though Javante Davis is sell, is doing $5 million gates in dang near every city he goes to and selling out every city he's going to and clearly having big pay-per-views that they are very happy with. You know, people from like Rick Glazier will come in and tank and and put out this his estimates for the pay-per-views and tank them like literally tank tank and say oh he did 15,000 pay-per-views and it's an anomaly that all of these people will go to the fight and pay you know these ridiculous amounts of money for the fight but strangely enough they just don't buy the pay-per-views however <laughs> Without releasing what the pay-per-view numbers were, actually were. Now, of course, you got other people saying 200,000, 300,000, which is twice as big as Canelo, uh, twice as big as Terrence Crawford's pay-per-views and mo most everybody else's pay-per-views. And we really don't know what Canelo's pay-per-views were over there on the zone. But he I do believe he was doing four or five hundred thousand, six five hundred thousand, something like that on his pay-per-views on the zone. At least that's the numbers that I had heard. But even but even before this, Ryan Garcia, he said he was making, you know, 13 million, 15 million dollars a fight. And there's no real reason to believe that he's not that he isn't doing that. But People don't want to acknowledge it. People do not want to give that man his credit uh, for being the draw that he's been for a while, for a long while now. But now there's now there should be no way that you can get out of doing that for the man. However, they still do it and claim that, well, it wasn't really uh, Ryan. It was Ryan Garcia that sold all those tickets. It was Ryan Garcia. Now, I'm a Ryan Garcia fan. I like Ryan Garcia as a, I know, first of all, I like Ryan Garcia as a person. I haven't met him, but just watching him and seeing how he carries himself, man, I like that kid, man. He's a good dude, man. Seems like a really, really good dude. Wish him the best, right? I also think he's a pretty good fighter, talented fighter. I don't underestimate the win uh, ta uh, Tank's win over him. Uh, and I do know that he is a well-known person. So he definitely brought something to the fight, but guess what? Every time you fight somebody, there's there's always two people in the ring. And Canelo, his biggest pay-per-view was against a guy, Gennady Golovkin, who had been promoted way more than Ryan Garcia had been promoted at, at the time that he was fighting on HBO. And they didn't do better numbers than 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 uh, than Ryan and Tank did. Got to get a man. His, you got to give the man his credit, man. And so if he can wave his wallet in the face of of. Um, uh, Canelo Alvarez, first of all, that's a really big task. Uh, he's got the biggest pay-per-views of the year. He's uh, of the of the decade. Excuse me. <laughs> he's got the biggest pay-per-view of the decade. And it is. Yes, I know it's 2023 and we're only three years into the decade. But still, he's got the biggest non. he's got the biggest pay-per-view non Floyd Mayweather Jr. in a long time. Um, look, man, get a man his credit and he's telling, and, and I have no doubt that he made a lot of money. And I think more than likely that hundred million dollars is just as likely is the $50 million that people are saying Canelo got, which I have no doubt is up in the 25, up, tw up in the twenties, thirties. Cause you know, when you sell that many tickets and you sell that type of gate, you're going to get paid. But like I said, uh, you can say that, um, you can say that that um, that uh, there I you I personally don't think there is a face of boxing, but if you're talking about boxing and who people want to see, you can't say Canelo's alone where he is. It's definitely Gervonta Davis right with him. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Love that conversation. Y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.